It is the morning of May 22nd, and uh, just heading back to the Gator now. Had another close encounter with the same turkey I've been after. And he went directly away from me, right across the road, so. At least he gobbled this morning. He gobbled five or six times, which is more than he's gobbled in a long time. So it's exciting just to hear one gobbling. We'll head back and I gotta get to work this morning. So that's a wrap. It is the 23rd of May and I've been out here calling, looking around for turkeys. And I had no luck, so we're gonna give her one more round, try all these different spots. We got some rain coming in later this morning, so I'm thinking maybe one will get fired up before then, but we'll find out. So will you. Okay, everybody, we're, uh, it's about 8, 8.30 in the morning, and I'm set up in the corner of our cornfield here with a strut and jake decoy and a hen. There's a Tom that's been coming out here sometimes. I have those, I have a trail camera set up right here and one over here, and uh, I've been getting video of them coming out in this corner, so. We're just gonna sit here and hang tight and hope that maybe he walks out at some point. Well, that's a wrap on this morning. I sat in that blind for a couple hours and uh, never heard a gobble or nothing. There's a big storm rolling in now. And there's a woodchuck standing out here. I have to get the rifle up here and start going to town on them buggers. Fields just got mowed yesterday, so. I'll see you tomorrow. How's it going everybody? It is Memorial Day here in Western New York. Well, I guess it'd be Memorial Day all across the United States. But we're in Western New York right now. And uh, I've got a big long beard that we've been hunting the whole season here. And uh, he's a super smart bird. He's very call shy. He gobbles once on the limb every morning and that's pretty much it. And I've actually got a pattern on them a little bit with trail cameras. I've lined trail cameras all up the side of our field over here. I have them in this corner the past three mornings in a row. Spending a lot of time with a couple of hens and a jake strutting on and off. So uh, Kelly and I got this ground blind set up and we have a uh, strut and jake decoy out there with a avian X hen. And we got all kinds of different camera angles, so we're just crossing our fingers. This bird comes out there this morning, or out here this morning. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled. Hopefully, it works out. What do you think? I wish she'd talk to a call, cause sitting here all morning, just waiting, kind of gets a little boring. But hopefully, it works out for us. See, she's got some serious birds on. It's an old turkey. Yeah.
Well, we sat here all morning, never heard or saw a turkey. And that's a wrap on Kaylee's turkey season. Yep, I have to work all week. <laughs> oh, man. Well, get her stuff and head out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, 4.20 on May 28th. I'm kind of uh, excited about this morning. Last night, I was able to pinpoint a bird that uh, sounded off multiple times in the roost. So I know right where he's at. This turkey is uh, one that we've been going after for all season. You're not gonna call it in. It's a long spurred turkey and uh, he's just super smart. He never does what you think he's gonna do. He never does the same thing twice in the morning. It's just a big old long spurred turkey and he knows the game. So this morning uh, it's on and off rain all morning. I've just looked at the radar here. It looks like we have a little window around six o'clock, so. There's the radar. You can see like six to seven o'clock, we have a pretty good window right there, so. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. Hopefully I can get this camera in and out of the woods without uh, getting it too wet. But I'm gonna get right in there snug to this bird this morning and hope that he flies down my way and uh, I'll knock him over. Let's get to the woods. Well, I was in the right spot. That turkey almost landed on me. I guess when they're about five feet away, you're better off just shooting them in the body than trying to take their head off because I'm totally miffed, whiffed, totally missed. Unbelievable. Hope you guys enjoy my misfortune here. Have a good one. Okay everybody, so I'm back at the house now and uh, I've been thinking about that turkey from this morning all day long and 
just how unbelievable and how unlucky I got. There is, I knew the general area that bird was roosted from the night prior here in Gobble and stuff. So when I got in there, I knew I wanted to be, you know, on the uphill side of where that bird was. And I knew where a hen flew up to roost. So I wanted to make sure I was right in between him and where that hen flew up to roost. And uh, so I got right there and I ended up getting closer to him than I would have liked. When uh, it started getting light, I seen the turkey was sitting in the tree like 25 or 30 yards from me. And uh, he started gobbling and stuff and I was able to scooch myself actually right in line with another tree so you couldn't see him on the, on the limb and he couldn't see me sitting on the ground. So, but he was right there the whole time and uh, there was all that space that that bird could have flew down and I would have tipped him over as soon as he hit the ground. And he just happened to literally fly right to my feet. I mean, I've never had a turkey come down from roost and land that close to me. And uh, I think it was the fact that I was kind of indecisive that he caught me. When he first flew down out of the roost, he was coming right at me. And it, I kind of instantly, like instincts took over and I went to shoot him as he was flying right at me as if he was a duck or goose. And then I thought, well... I'm just going to wait until he lands and tip him over as soon as he lands means he's flying right into the front of my camera or right, you know, in front of me where I had the camera at. But hindsight 2020, he landed literally like three feet from the end of my gun or four feet from the end of my gun. And when that bird hit the ground, he saw me when I was moving to get on him as he was flying. When he hit the ground, he took off like a rocket running through the woods. And, uh, of course... I tried to swing across my body and, and shoot him and I missed the first shot and then uh, I had two desperation shots as he was booking it through the weeds and stuff and uh, I didn't kill him but what terrible luck. Unbelievable. I guess if I uh, like had that situation happen again I would have shot him as he was flying at me because it was a huge target right slow moving right in my face and uh, if I if I could have it back I would have shot him then but all the area that bird could have flown down he flew down right on me unbelievable and uh, I know some of you guys would say well why don't you just shoot him in the tree right in front of you it's legal in New York yeah it's legal but it's not really ethical in my opinion to blast him out of the tree I know it is legal but I think it's you know it's kind of frowned upon and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blast one out of the tree especially you know I want to get good video and and uh, do it right even though I'm not saying it's wrong to do that because it's legal but I I just don't do that you know I'd rather let them hit the ground and take them out but just getting that close to that bird on the roost was pretty cool when he gobbled, it just like rattled you, you know, he's right there. And uh, it's pretty cool to fool an old bird like that, that good, and get in that close close on him. But I've had quite a turkey season this year, so just icing on the cake, really. I appreciate everybody following me along. I am going to hunt uh, a few more mornings, so it's not totally over yet, but it's coming down to the wire. So I appreciate everybody watching and uh, we have lots more videos coming shortly. Thanks everybody.